Hello, this is a short video to show quick fixes for common Blackboard course issues. So some things that teachers can fix when they appear, uh, things like the online class and sessions, the ebook link, and the MyLab link. I've got a course open here, uh, and we have problems with these three things. I've set up these problems just for the video. But for whatever reason, you might not have the online class link showing. Usually this appears in the course template, but it can get deleted by mistake or it might not be there. So to add the link, you go to the plus sign here. You would go to tool link. The name you would put is online class. The type is Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And you make it available to users and click submit and it appears here at the bottom. So you want to move it up to the correct, well not, to the, to the top of the toolbar just so that it's easier to find. Also, we want to make the online class stand out so we add dividers here and then they appear at the bottom and again you would drag them up and now the online class would stand out. If you go into the online class, the main problem you might have in your online class uh, is this. The course room is unlocked. This creates a problem because students can go in here and sit waiting for the teacher when the teacher is not there. So just go to the right, click on these three dots and make sure that the course room is locked. Another mark problem might be that the session is not labeled correctly. Uh, we have a recommended guide for the session which is to put not just anything you want here, we would put the course name, we would put the CRN, then we would put the day, the period rather than the time, and then the name of the teacher that would teach the course. And then this makes it easier for the student to identify the correct class. Another problem we might have is with the ebook. The problem we sometimes have is there is no content there, or a, this student would get this sign which says that the link is not available. Uh, not really sure why this happens, but it basically just means you need to replace the link. So I think the quickest, but the easiest way is to just delete. You can repair this link, but the, the best way is to just delete it, start again. To delete that link, go again to the plus sign. Now you're going to create content this time. The name we're going to call it ebook. We're going to make it available to users. And again, it appears at the bottom, so just drag it up to the top. Then this sign means that there's nothing there, so I need to add some content. So I'm going to click on this then I'm going to go to build content and for this I'm going to add a book so this is what I need to add the book for this group is starter so I'm going to click on new the name I'm going to call the book is cutting edge starter you can change the color if you want it doesn't really matter description this is your ebook the only other things you need to make sure is that we tick yes for these two things. Permit users and track number of views. This is good for reporting purposes. Click submit. And now the ebook link is fixed. So the next time your students go in, it should be there. And the, uh, another problem we might have is MyLab. So the students would click on MyLab and it's, it's taking them to the wrong place. So again, easy solution delete that link it's gone wrong somewhere go back to plus click on web link this time the name is going to be my lab the URL you should copy from uh, uh, an email that your SCC would have sent but I've got it here on the screen if you need it and copy that link into there, make it available to users, click submit. 
and now that link should appear here at the bottom drag it up again to release it with the ebook and the online class just check on the link yeah and now it's taking me to my English lab okay thank you very much